Good evening and welcome back once again. Hopefully you watched the last video where we had, well, a very last minute winner against Hueske. Again, we, you know, were the better team. We dominated possession. Arcas missed a couple of glaring chances. And then Bajer, the substitute, came on. He slotted in the winner in, the, I think it was the 94th or 95th minute. And it was only three minutes added on. Brilliant finish. Deserved winner. And then it was the end of the transfer window. No income is outgoings compared to early in the window, but we didn't have any budget left and we haven't really got anyone to sell. So we're going to jump into the next match where we'll wait and door it. Mudrik is fit after he missed the last match with a, a slight injury. Let's hope we can uh, bang in a few goals today. And we are making a couple of changes and obviously the regulars have come back, but we are going to put Pajero on because he's on and up in place of Carlos Perez. So we'll give him a rest. Arcas has dropped to the bench with Mudrik being back. And um, we've put Cofield in a right back and played McDowell, who had actually a, a decent match in the last one. But just to give him a rest, we have got another match in. I think it's three days time. So, you know, this will change around for the next match. And, and as usual, try and get some subs on around about the 60 minute mark just to, to change things up. One thing I would say as well, which I've mentioned for a while, we don't have a spare goalkeeper. We don't have a, a second choice. And Schubert, his condition does go down. Obviously, he doesn't use as much men energy as outfield players. But that's something we're going to have to look into sooner rather than later. And um, we've got a bit of rain today against Andorra. Let's hope, well at least for my sake, that it doesn't take us to the 95th minute uh, to get a goal this time. It's probably good for, for viewing, you know, getting a last minute winner. And it is exciting, but um, I wouldn't mind Mudrik being back on the score sheet with, with him being back in the team today. We are playing in our away kit. I do really like the away kit, the uh, sort of red that fades into the pink sort of color i haven't used the third choice much uh, which is the black kit nice block from kosinu and is that a goal kick yeah i must have just i thought it just come off their attacker um one thing as well as umaragic the the defender that we brought in i've been i shouldn't have said that should i why did i say that when i've got the ball I was just about to say, I've been quite impressed with him. Him. Costin is such a good defender, but we needed a a partner. And Kavazovic, who thought we had, and he's, he's still very, very young. Um, You know, he hasn't got the skills yet. He'd, he'd be good in the future. Six, he nearly on the end of that, but he had two players pretty much crowning him out. Nice ball there. Mudrik, man of the hour. Oof. Bajer on the end of it, the hero of the last match. Mudrik held it up, nice ball to Takshere. And at the far post, did well. But, um, you know, you've got to hit the target. Xerxes back as well, which is good to see. We had to rest him in the last match. He was just absolutely shattered. He adds a lot to our game. Not just goal scoring, but holding the ball up. And uh, playing in others. Oh, Fabio Vieira. Oh, it's wide. It was behind him. Wasn't the best of pass. Still managed to get it, but um, just wide. Yeah, you see if the ball from Pierre there was it was sort of in between Xerxes and Vieira. But already I would say we're playing better than we did in the last uh, match in the first half. You know, we didn't really create any clear cut chances in the first half. We had a, the odd little chance, but Xerxes, he's got to be stronger and quicker there. Oops, it's going to be offside, is it? Yeah, I didn't mean to blast it there. Only about uh, eight yards offside. Again, I didn't mean to boot that up the pitch. Oops, Xerxes could be in here. Oh, and Bajez just stopped his run just as it was about a pass. 
That's frustrating. Not sure why he stopped his run. Nice tackle from Caulfield there. And Rice is still running. But he's uh, not the quickest. That wasn't the best pass. That was poor. It was the wrong choice to try and pass it there. Could have taken a couple of touches. It could be in here. <laughs> that was me bringing the goalkeeper out and then I was like, oh, yeah, I took him too far now, but we managed to uh, just about keep the ball out. And that's offside, is it? Oh, it's not. Well, I've done the Cardinal Sin, which is um, not playing to the whistle. I looked across the line when I played it. He looked well offside. There must have been a defender at the far side that was playing him on. But you play to the whistle. That was poor for me. Good block there from Caulfield. leave that to go out so been a bit sloppy in the last 10 minutes I would say start well had a couple of chances haven't seen too much of Vieira Herrera he doesn't score that many, but when he does, it's normally a good one. Space opened up, no defender's going to block that one. Oh, just wide. Worth an effort. You know, sometimes you see long range efforts and think, well, you're getting a bit desperate now, but that was just, that was the perfect opportunity to take a chance there. Good block. It's nearly half time though. And the longer it goes on, the more nervous we get. Good tackle. And I'm not sure how Bajer didn't get that. I thought that was a decent ball from Mudrik. Just cancel my run there to let it go out for a goal kick. Now we might get one attack um, before half time. Possibly not. I wouldn't think there's going to be much injury time, if any. Nice play there. And Mudrik. Uh, spotted what I was going to do there. Read that well. And that'll be half time. So just looking at the stats, we clearly had control of the game. Three shots, but none on target, which is the key thing. And towards the end of the half, we were a little bit sloppy, I would say. So we need to get back on track for that. You know, the likes of Vieira hasn't been much in the game. Bajer hasn't really either. Um, six, he's all by himself there, but Caulfield's coming in now. Oh, nice effort. Could just didn't quite get it right, but really nice effort. Even gaps in defence though. Good block from uh, Cossonu. Great tackle. He's going to be a star. Him. Bit of space for Herrera. Amal Mudrik. Herrera. Well blocked. Ah, oh, Mujuk must have been offside when he uh, when he took the shot. Yeah. 
That was better play. Now Bajer from Xerxes. Well played Terrera. Ah, oh, try to get Xerxes in, but don't think that was the right option. Now Bajer, that's not who I was trying to play it to. Mudrick, nicely played. That was poor. Nice little ball to uh, to Mudrick there. Oh, that was well wide. That was actually a good chance there for Vieira. Not going to watch it because it was about 10 yards wide. Just picking it up a little bit. We're just putting some pressure on. Oh, lovely little play there. Sixy. Lovely play. Such a good goal that was. That touch, watch Mudrick with a pass, but that little touch from Xerxes, and then Vieira plays him back in. That's what Xerxes can do for you, that holding up the ball or just playing it into him. And he normally lays it off to one of the wingers or Vieira, who's the attack midfielder. And um, quite often he gets assists, not just the goals. And a really nice finish. A good time to make some subs. So we're going to bring off some of our star players for, for rest for the next match. Mudrick's going to come off for Harrington. We're going to stick Carlos Perez up front. And he's played there before really well uh, for Xerxes. And we're going to bring on Arcas for Vieira. And it's not very often that Arcas gets to play in that attack midfielder role. But that's one of his better roles. That are all the second striker. So let's see what we can get up to with those guys. And like I said earlier, the next match is only in three days, I believe. So... Hopefully these guys will be pretty much fully fit for the next match. The three that are going off and they're in good form as well. Because uh, the worst, well not the worst thing, but one of the annoying things that can happen is, you know, you, you rest players for a reason and then when it comes around to the match that you're going to play them in and they're on a downward red or something. Um, it just got busy plans. Um, because unless you're desperate, you just... Don't play them when they're in that form. That was poor from Bajer. There's all sorts going on there. Got away with it. Now Carlos Perez. Not his usual position, but he's played here before and he's played here well. Bajer, oof. Corner, maybe. Nope. Oh, they got very lucky there. That was incredibly bad uh, decision making from them. Tower and header from Kosinu there. Herrera's been on the ball quite a bit in this match. He's played pretty well. Now Alcas again. I was offside. I was actually trying to play to Alcas rather than Carlos Perez. And um, Harrington Hughes, come on, he had a, a good run of a, two or three matches where he was playing really well. Scored some goals as well. And um, so we're hoping that uh, he can pick up that form as, again. It's not going to get as much match time as some of the you know the stars, but oh, nice play! And Arcas has an acres of space. Oh, and he's missed it again. Oh, I hope that doesn't cost us. He did that twice in the last match when it was nil nil, and it almost cost us. That's well wide. I 
probably should have went for the finesse finish using R2. But I don't want to use that all the time. I like to mix things up and yeah. Here's Harrington. Oh, lovely finish. What was I saying? He's been in good form in fits and starts. And that sealed it now. Nice play. Perez with a nice little ball there around the corner. Held off the defender and nice little finish around the keeper. Yeah, see the one two. Perez has got a good pass on him and playing in a more central role. He can uh, spot those runs. So in the end, that Arcos miss is not going to cost us unless something dramatic happens in the last 9 or 10 minutes. Surely not. <laughs> Shouldn't say it, but... Costanu there again, though. Such a good signing. Uh, yeah, Arcos hasn't really got the legs for that. Nice header from Omarajic. No one in the middle to get it though. Nice tap off from Caulfield. Can we get a third in the last couple of minutes? Perez. Now Arcas. Oh, I thought that was in. It was the side netting. Nice play from, uh, well, the front three, Carlos Perez and Arcas, back into Perez. Little layoff. And it was well wide in the end, but that's the sort of play I want to see. Quick passes, little triangles, one twos. Not much time left. Let's hope we can keep another clean sheet. We had every game we played in in January, we had a, a clean sheet and uh, we won every match. Pretty much perfect. Oh, what a finish that was. He can't do it from, you know, six to ten yards, but he can from 25. It's pretty much the last kick of the the ball I think Andor will just kick off the uh, kick off the restart and that'll be it wonderful finish though a little bit of redemption there for Arcas like I say it didn't cost us anything in the last match and it certainly hasn't cost us in this one either his misses nice arrowed finish And you know what? He's, he's allowed the odd miss. He's pulled us through matches before. He's uh, come in as a sub and scored and created chances. And there it is, full time. It was fairly comfortable in the end, but it was looking a bit dodgy at the beginning of the second half. And just a quick look at the stats. Around about the 60% possession mark, which is normally our sort of go-to figure. But more importantly, I mean, we didn't let any shots on our goal. A fair few misses of our own. Again, don't want to lay on to Argos too much, but in the end, pretty comfortable. And rating-wise, Vieira getting a 7, I'm surprised. I thought he was a little bit absent in the first half, and then he went off as a sub around the 60-minute mark. I thought Mudrick was more influential in the first half than Vieira. Cirque getting man of the match. I wouldn't really disagree with that. He held up the ball well, scored obviously, and he was very influential before he went off. And all of the subs, I would agree, did well when they came on. And, and Harrington, really impressed with him again. But that's it for today. An impressive performance and a good result. A little bit more clear cut than the last one we had for certain. But join us for the next one. We're at home to a racing club, Santander. And then we've got the massive match in the Copa del Rey at home to Real Madrid. Again, I appreciate the support. If you can, leave a like. If you enjoyed the video, that'd be much appreciated. Drop a comment down below. And if you do like the videos, think about hitting that subscribe button so you can be kept up to date with the future videos. We do normally put one video out every day. Now and again, we do change things up with other videos such as uh, Resident Evil 4 I've been doing lately. We might be doing some other videos such as Red Dead Redemption in the future. 
the second one that is i've just bought hitman 3 as well because they've just released a new game mode which is called freelancer and i really like the look of that it's a bit like a roguelike version of it maybe some of that on the channel although i haven't played that game in a while so i'll have to get to grips with it and then the resident evil 4 remake will be coming out soon as i'm recording this it's the beginning of february i believe it's coming out in the middle of march I'll probably do a series on that. That was the idea when I was doing the Resident Evil 4 classic version, a replay of that. I was playing that ahead of the uh, the remake being released. If there's any other games you'd like to see, drop them down in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.